सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर टू लिनियर इक्वेशंस इन वन वेरिएबल पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर टू पॉइंट थ्री सम एप्लीकेशंस we begin with a simple example sum of two numbers is 74 one of the numbers is 10 more than the other what are the numbers we have a puzzle here we do not know either of the two numbers and we have to find them we are given two conditions one one of the numbers is 10 more than the other 2 their sum is 74 we already know from class 7 how to proceed if the smaller number is taken to be x the larger number is 10 more than x that is x plus 10 the other condition says that the sum of these two numbers x and x plus 10 is 74 this means that x plus bracket open x plus 10 bracket close is equal to 74 or 2x plus 10 is equal to 74 transposing 10 to rhs 2x is equal to 74 minus 10 or 2x is equal to 64 dividing both sides by 2 x is equal to 32 this is one number the other number is x plus 10 is equal to 32 plus 10 which is equal to 42 the desired numbers are 32 and 42 their sum is indeed 74 as given and also one number is 10 more than the other we shall now consider several examples to show how useful this method is example 5 what should be added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7 solution twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 is 2 multiplied by minus 7 by 3 within brackets which is equal to minus 14 by 3 suppose x added to this number gives 3 by 7 that is x plus minus 14 by 3 within brackets is equal to 3 by 7 or x minus 14 by 3 is equal to 3 by 7 or x is equal to 3 by 7 plus 14 by 3 transposing 14 by 3 to rhs is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 within brackets plus 14 multiplied by 7 within brackets divided by 21 which is equal to 9 plus 98 divided by 21 which is equal to 107 by 21 page number 25 thus 107 by 21 should be added to 2 multiplied by minus 7 by 3 within brackets to give 3 by 7 Example six: The perimeter of a rectangle is thirteen centimeter, and its width is two, three by four centimeter. Find its length. Solution: Assume the length of the rectangle to be x centimeter. The perimeter of the rectangle is equal to two multiplied by bracket open. length plus width bracket close is equal to 
2 multiplied by bracket open x plus 2 3 by 4 bracket close is equal to 2 bracket open x plus 11 by 4 bracket close. The perimeter is given to be 13 cm. Therefore, 2 bracket open x plus 11 by 4 bracket close is equal to 13 or x plus 11 by 4 is equal to 13 by 2 dividing both sides by 2 or x is equal to 13 by 2 minus 11 by 4 is equal to 26 by 4 minus 11 by 4 is equal to 15 by 4 is equal to 3 3 by 4. The length of the rectangle is 3 3 by 4 centimeter. Example 7. The present age of Sahil's mother is 3 times the present age of Sahil. After 5 years, their ages will add to 66 years. Find their present ages. Solution. Let Sahil's present age be x years. We could also choose Sahil's age 5 years later to be x and proceed. Why don't you try it that way? There is a table given here. In this table, there are three columns and two rows. The columns are Sahil, Mother, Sum. In the first row, we have present age. Sahil x, Mother 3x. In the second row, we have age 5 years later. Sahil x plus 5, Mother 3x plus 5, Sum 4x plus 10. It is given that this sum is 66 years. Therefore, 4x plus 10 is equal to 66. This equation determines Sahil's present age, which is x years. To solve the equation, we transpose 10 to RHS. Page number 26. 4x is equal to 66 minus 10 or 4x is equal to 56 or x is equal to 56 by 4 is equal to 14. This is the solution. Thus, Sahil's present age is 14 years and his mother's age is 42 years. You may easily check that 5 years from now, the sum of their ages will be 66 years. Example 8. Bunsi has 3 times as many 2 rupee coins as he has 5 rupee coins. If he has in all a sum of rupees 77, how many coins of each denomination does he have? Solution. Let the number of 5 rupee coins that Bunsi has be x. Then, the number of 2 rupee coins he has is 3 times x or 3x. The amount Bunsi has 1. From 5 rupee coins, rupees 5 into x is equal to rupees 5x. 2. From 2 rupee coins, rupees 2 into 3x is equal to 6x. Hence, the total money he has is equal to rupees 11x. But this is given to be rupees 77. Therefore, 11x is equal to 77 or x is equal to 77 by 11 is equal to 7. Thus, number of 5 rupee coins is equal to x is equal to 7 and number of 2 rupee coins is equal to 3x is equal to 21, which is the solution. You can check that the total money with Bunsi is rupees 77. There is a pile of 5 rupee coins and 2 rupee coins drawn here. The pile of 2 rupee coins is taller than the pile of 5 rupee coins. 
Example 9. The sum of 3 consecutive multiples of 11 is 363. Find these multiples. Solution. If x is a multiple of 11, the next multiple is x plus 11. The next to this is x plus 11 plus 11 or x plus 22. So we can take 3 consecutive numbers of 11 as x, x plus 11 and x plus 22. There is a number line here. The points marked on it are as follows. 0, 11, 22 dot 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 x x plus 11 x plus 22 it is given that the sum of these consecutive multiples of 11 is 363 this will give the following equation x plus bracket open x plus 11 bracket closed plus bracket open x plus 22 bracket closed is equal to 363 or x plus x plus 11 plus x plus 22 is equal to 363 or 3x plus 33 is equal to 363 or 3x is equal to 363 minus 33 or 3x is equal to 330 or x is equal to 330 by 3 which is equal to 110. Hence, the three consecutive multiples are 110, 121, 132, which is the answer. We can observe that we can adopt different ways to find a solution for the problem. Alternatively, we may think of the multiple of 11 immediately before x. This is x minus 11 within brackets. Therefore, we may take three consecutive multiples of 11 as x minus 11, x, x plus 11. In this case, we arrive at the equation x minus 11 within brackets plus x plus x plus 11 within brackets is equal to 363 or 3x is equal to 363 or x is equal to 360 by 3 is equal to 121. Therefore, x is equal to 121, x minus 11 is equal to 110, x plus 11 is equal to 132. Hence, the three consecutive multiples are 110, 121, 132. Page number 27. Example 10. The difference between Two whole numbers is 66. The ratio of the two numbers is 2 is to 5. What are the two numbers? Solution. Since the ratio of the two numbers is 2 is to 5, we may take one number to be 2x and the other to be 5x. Note that 2x is to 5x is same as 2 is to 5. The difference between the two numbers is 5x minus 2x. It is given that the difference is 66. Therefore, 5x minus 2x is equal to 66 or 3x is equal to 66 or x is equal to 22. Since the numbers are 2x and 5x, they are 2 into 22 or 44 and 5 into 22 or 110 respectively. The difference between the two numbers is 110 minus 44 is equal to 66 as desired. Example 11. Devishi has a total of 590 as currency notes in the denominations of rupees 50, rupees 20 and rupees 10. The ratio of the number of rupees 50 notes and rupees 20 notes is 3 to 5. If she has a total of 25 notes, how many notes of each denomination she has? Solution Let the number of rupees 50 notes and rupees 20 notes be 3x and 5x respectively. But she has 25 notes in total. Therefore, the number of rupees 10 notes is equal to 25 minus 
bracket open 3x plus 5x bracket close is equal to 25 minus 8x. The amount she has from rupees 50 notes 3x into 50 is equal to rupees 150x. From rupees 20 notes 5x into 20 is equal to rupees 100x. From rupees 10 notes bracket open 25 minus 8x bracket close into 10 is equal to rupees bracket open 250 minus 80x bracket close. Hence, the total money she has is equal to 150x plus 100x plus bracket open 250 minus 80x bracket close is equal to rupees bracket open 170x plus 250 bracket close. But she has rupees 590. Therefore, 170x plus 250 is equal to 590. Or 170x is equal to 590 minus 250 is equal to 340. Or x is equal to 340 by 170 is equal to 2. The number of rupees 50 notes she has is equal to 3x is equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6. The number of rupees 20 notes she has is equal to 5x is equal to 5 into 2 is equal to 10. The number of rupees 10 notes she has is equal to 25 minus 8x is equal to 25 minus bracket open 8 into 2 bracket close is equal to 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh. Narrator Akash Ahuja. Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo. Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar. Assistance in Production Somya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India